Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. This video is a small follow-up from one of my previous videos about the Pokemon trading card game Classic. In that video I've mentioned that the unique card from this box would come in a separate less expensive product in February of next year. Now apparently there was a little bit of doubt if that would actually be the case or not. Well, in meantime the combined powers premium collection has been officially announced and that box has all the cards in it that were at first unique to the Pokemon trading card game Classic. Now before I go any further I just want to say it's never my intention to spread hate for some products. I just try my very best to give you my personal thoughts about the products I make a video about and I always try to state as much facts as possible to maybe prevent people from buying a product that could not be living up to them expectations. Now for sure if it's such an expensive product as the Pokemon trading card game classic I think that's only a good thing to do. If you don't know what the Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic exactly is and you want to know more about that product, I will put a link to that video in the eye here in the top corner. Now with that out of the way, let's take a closer look at what this new Combined Powers Premium Collection exactly is. First of all, it's important to know that the Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic had a total of 6 unique cards. All the other cards, including of course the 3 starters, were all reprints. The six brand new cards from the set are the Ho-Oh EX, the Suicune EX, the Lugia EX, and of course you also had three new tools, which are Drops in the Ocean, Scorching Carcoal, and of course Sun Seed. Now lots of fans were very frustrated because of the high price point the Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic had. Luckily, almost immediately the Pokemon Company International announced that fans shouldn't be worried too much because the unique cards would become also available in a separate product. That product would be releasing at the beginning of next year. In meantime, we know that this is probably this Combined Powers Premium Collection. One of the reasons why lots of people were doubting to buy the English version of the Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic had everything to do with the unique 25-year-old Mr. Mime card that's a part of that set. And I know what you're all thinking, how can a 25 year old Pokemon card be unique? Well, that's very simple. The Mr. Mime card that's in the Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic is the re-release of the card that was a part of the vending machine sets. That set only came out in Japan. So up until now, the Mr. Mime card that you can see in front of you was never released in English before. This changed the moment that the card became a part of the Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic. Because of the high price point of that set, Pokemon wanted to make sure that also collectors with a smaller budget were able to get that card. For that reason, they decided to release it together with the other unique cards out of that set and the brand new Combined Powers Premium Collection. The fact that now Pokemon collectors are able to add the Mr. Mime and the other unique cards from the Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic to their collection for a less smaller amount is of course nice, but again, I have my doubts about this product and the fact if you really have to buy it or not. Let's first take a look what you can find in this product. Now if we do that, we can see that this Combined Powers Premium Collection comes with a couple of things. You get a total of 11 booster packs from different sets, 3 unique foil cards featuring Lugia, Ho-Oh and Suicune, 1 foil card featuring Mr. Mime, 3 Pokemon tool cards and of course you also have the Jumbo Foil Lugia card. Now one of the downsides from the Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic for me was not only the very high price point, but besides that there was also the fact that the unique cards were, just as the other cards by the way, not legal for tournament play. Now a lot of people hoped that this would change when Pokemon would re-release the unique cards in a separate product, but unfortunately we know now that this didn't happen. This means that all of the unique cards that you can find within this box are still not tournament legal cards. Of course I understand why that would be hard to realize for what the Mr. Mime card concerns, but I think they could have made a Lugia EX, Ho-Oh EX and Suicune EX at least real cards. Every time when cards get released that are not legal for tournament play, it gives me a little bit of feeling that they are not real Pokemon cards. Besides the fact that I strongly believe these cards can have some collectability, you don't really have to buy them to complete, let's say, a promo set. Besides the fact that there are still again some negative points concerning this product, I can imagine a lot of people will buy it just for the sake of having the unique English Mr. Mime cards in them collection. Now if you want to add this item to your collection you will have to wait till at least the 23rd of February. This is the confirmed release date for the United States. 
This product will also come outside of the US, but at this moment it's unclear if that will happen on the exact same moment or not. Now it's my guess it will be, so normally also in the UK and Europe the box should be available somewhere around the end of February. Now another important thing to take a look at is of course the price point of this box. It has a confirmed price of $59.99, so this means we can expect the box to cost £59.99 in the UK and somewhere around that €60 Euro price mark or a little bit higher in Europe. So everything put together, could this box be worth buying or not? That strongly depends from two factors. Now, the first question you have to ask yourself is if you would want this item to be a part of your sealed Pokemon collection or not. Lots of people doubt to add items that have cards in them that are not really a part of a set. Now, this having said, this box looks great, not in the least because it has three extremely popular Pokemon on it, and I can totally see a lot of people buying this box for the way how it looks and the unique content you're able to find inside. Now this brings me to the second question you have to ask yourself and that's if you really want to have the unique cards in your collection or not. As I've mentioned before, this is not a real must because they don't have a unique promo number on them. So basically, if you would decide to not buy these cards, that would never form a problem if you want to complete, let's say, the Scarlet and Violet promo set. Now this having said, if you want to have these cards in your collection, the only places you can find them at this moment are the Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic and of course this Combined Powers Premium Collection Box. However, I'm a little bit disappointed that the Pokemon Company International didn't really put a lot of effort in bringing out this new product and all the unique cards are still not legal for tournament play. I will actually buy a couple of these boxes for my personal collection. Now, the price point of around 60 euros is a lot more accessible comparing to the price of the Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic. However, of course, you can't really compare both prices against each other. Now I will personally keep one box sealed in my collection and I will open up one, open the booster packs that come inside the box and keep the cards in one of my binders. Now when the box comes out, I will try to do an opening here on the channel so everyone can decide for themselves if the box is worth it for them or not. This all having said, I still have a little bit of mixed feelings about this product. Probably that's personal, but I don't really like cards that aren't a part of some type of promo set or set. I also don't think this will be a great investment going forward for that exact same reason. The collectability for products as this is just way less comparing to other products that do have set cards in them. Now, if you don't have any problem with that, then of course you can consider adding this box or the cards to your collection. This all having said, we came to the very end of this video. Now I hope that you enjoyed it and if you did, then please consider giving it a like and following my channel. This would really help me out a lot and I would of course always appreciate that. Now thank you so much for watching and I would love to see you again in one of my next videos. Have a great day.